Alright guys, it's up again. So we're gonna do um the reset for the DOC and DPF. Let's get this going. So we got Cummins inside open. And um the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna turn the key switch on just so we could connect. Okay. Compressor low, air low because I like to drain the um, air tanks. So now we're gonna connect to the ECM. Top left corner, you can see the mouse. We're gonna connect. And just loading up. Then it's gonna ask us to create a work order. And do that make sure you do that that's important let's see if i can put the computer over here so i'm not reaching over see if you guys can still see the that oh, looks better over here no problem so we're going to go to new and we're going to put little notes in there just so i know what i did dlc dpf reset Okay. Create an image. Now it's connected to the ECM. We're going to go to advanced ECM data. Okay, we're going to go to um, after treatment maintenance. So the after treatment, after treatment maintenance feature provides the ability for a user to reset the ECM to allow diesel particle filter regeneration. If applicable, this feature is also used for DLC and after treatment fuel injector service for information reference to the help. Let's just check that out. Let's see what it says. After treatment maintenance provides the ability for a user to reset the ECM to allow diesel particle filter regeneration after replacement or servicing of the diesel exhaust system components. This feature is to be used only when the most severe after treatment fault conditions exist and corrective actions have been taken. These fault conditions include 1691, diesel oxidation catalyst efficiency warning, 2637, diesel oxidation catalyst face plugged, 1922, severe diesel particle filter suit load, and on heavy duty engines, 2638 diesel oxidation catalyst, low efficiency. Corrective actions may include replacement of the diesel oxidation catalyst, replacement or servicing of the diesel particle filter, and on heavy duty engines, repair or replacement of the hyd hydrocarbon injector unit. After treatment maintenance, special instructions. To select after treatment maintenance, Select the advanced ECM data on the view bar. Number two, click on the after treatment maintenance and advanced ECM data window. Number three, when the after treatment maintenance window opens and it's showing A, select diesel oxidation catalyst maintenance reset, diesel particle filter reset, or all from the reset options drop down. Click on the reset button to initiate the process and after treatment maintenance window will appear. Click on yes. A key switch will, window will appear. Turn the key switch off, wait 30 seconds, turn the key switch back on, and then click OK. A reset complete window will appear, click OK. The refresh button will update the after treatment history log, adding the latest edition. If the after treatment history log contains a total of 10 entries prior to this reset, the oldest reset information will be removed and the newest added. Histories for both components are maintained in the same log. Once the reset is completed, a regeneration cycle is still required to clear the fault. There you go. Good information. Got to make sure we're doing everything right. So let's close that box out. And let's go to the reset options. So it's showing diesel oxidation catalyst maintenance reset, the DLC, and diesel particle filter reset. So we're doing both. So we'll select all. It says um, right here, please select a component from the reset options and select the reset button. We did that. So let's click reset. 
Insight will perform the reset process. Continue. Okay, now it's saying, please turn the key switch off and then click OK. On the bottom where it says status, it says it added, please select a component from the reset options button, the reset option running. The reset process is running. The process has been completed. Use the reset component selection list on the other component. Okay, we're going to turn the key switch off. Okay, and we did. Okay, now it's doing what it's doing. It says action waiting 100 seconds before allowing to key on. One minute and 32 seconds and counting. I believe the other screen said uh, 30 seconds, but we're going to just do what it wants us to do. All right, man, this thing, this whole process, it's been a pain in the butt, but I really, really want to get this going because man, it's, it's, this is going to help big time because if I could stop the truck from having any regen issues, man, that's, that's, that, that's a home run right there. That's what we're trying to do. Cause I haven't had any issues with the truck. Not, not like that. I had the knock sensors go out. But um, I haven't had anything on the dash where it said I needed to do a force regen or anything. And um, so that's all I'm trying to trying to prevent. And today, right after this, we're going to go pick up one of the trailers. It got PM'd. We're going to pick it up. And um, we're going to probably get going, start going. I got to put a tire carrier on, one of the cradles, and um, change, change a few things. It passed the PM, got the annual. It, it passed the annual inspection. Everything's good. But there's a few things that I want to freshen up, like the lights. They're, they're kind of old. I want to put nice shiny ones. Make sure the DOT likes us. All right. Now it's saying, um, please turn the key switch on and then click OK. So let's do that. OK, let's, let's let it go on until that check engine light goes off. Okay, it's off. Please turn the key switch on and then click OK. Okay, it's loading. The reset process was successful. Good job. So now we're going to, um, we're going to run a force regen. And, um, Run a force regen to make sure we don't have any um, any leaks or anything. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just cut that here and uh, just make this one video because it's really long. And um, the second part, the part after this, that's gonna be the the force regen. So I hope you guys liked it. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Appreciate you guys watching, and uh, peace out.